Satnam, I'm Yogi Gems, I'm a Kundalini Yoga teacher. This Kundalini Yoga Kriya is known as unloading the subconscious. So we're putting a big trawler through the subconscious mind just to bring up any detritus, any rubbish, any blocks, anything that is holding us back. Whether we've gathered that in this lifetime, in our past lifetimes, in our ancestral lines, wherever we've gathered those blocks, this is our opportunity to let them go. Of course, with all Kundalini Yoga Kriyas, we bypass the conscious mind. So we're not reliving these processes we are simply bringing them up to release them. So I invite you to really set your intention to release in today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya, to let go as much as you possibly can. Let's bring our palms together, give them a good vigorous rub and bring your prayer mudra in towards the heart center. Take a deep inhale to stretch tall through the spine. Keeping that length as you exhale, relax the shoulders away from the ears. Inhale to lift through the heart. Exhale to draw the chin in towards the neck. And let's take a deep inhale to tune in with our mantras. If you're new to the mantras, just listen in for now. Om Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siddhi Guru Devi Name, Ad Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siddhi Guru Devi Name, Ad Gure Name, Jugad Gure Name, Sat Gure Name, Siddhi Guru Devi Name, Take a deep inhale. And hold that breath in as you invite your higher self to guide you through this Kundalini Yoga Kriya today, keeping you safe from injury and keeping the space that you're practicing in clear, safe and protected. Exhaling, relaxing the hands down to the knees in Gyan Mudra, index fingers touching thumbs and just allowing those mantras to settle in the body, in the mind bringing you into presence for your Kundalini Yoga. Good, we're gonna start with a lovely sustaining pranayama or breath. We're gonna bring our hands to fists on the inhale. We bring one hand up as we open out, exhale, bring it back down to fist, inhale, the other hand up to grab and pull back down on the exhale. So it's our powerful breath as we reach up and grab that lovely life force energy, that prana that we have in the breath that we work with as yogis in our Kundalini yoga practice to heal us, to nourish us. Good, powerful, strong breath. Pull that prana in. The eyes are closed, rolled up and into the third eye, point in the center of the brow. And we're getting really greedy with this prana, with this healing life force energy. Bring both hands to in front of the shoulders and fists, deep inhale. Hold that breath in as you squeeze tight through Mulban. So you're squeezing anus and sex organs, pulling the navel in and feeling, sensing, imagining the energy rising from the tailbone up the spine to the crown of the head. Hold it, squeeze it, stretch and lift. And exhale, relax, release. Bring the hands back to your Gyan Mudra, index fingers to thumbs on the knees. 
and just feeling that lovely, fresh, vital energy coursing through the body. Stay present with it. Good, we're going to move that energy through our field now. So we've got our palms facing up, fingertips to the earth. We're going to inhale the hands up above the head to meet in prayer mudra. Exhale, palms out, and we bring the hands back down. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Good, and as you move with the breath, set your intention to clear this space. So we're clearing away any pollution that we might be holding in the electromagnetic field. Preparing ourselves to release in today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya, what no longer serves us. Good, using a powerful breath. Clearing and cleansing the auric field. Inhale, hands up above the head, palms together, hold that breath in as you squeeze more buns, squeeze the pelvic floor, pull the belly in, raise that energy up, up, up and out. And exhale, comb the hands down through the auric field, fingertips come to the earth and ground through the fingertips. Staying very present with the sensations in and around the body. Good, and let's give ourselves a nice little shake up, a shake loose, just to release from our physical body anything that might be blocking us, anything that might be holding us or limiting us, and remembering to breathe as you shake out the arms. You might even want to stretch the legs out and shake them out, shake the legs, shake the hips, shake the shoulders and the ribs, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it all the way through. Really shake yourself up shake yourself loose that's it good shake anything off that you can shake off today remembering to breathe inhaling and exhaling through the nose good bringing the hands onto the knees in Gyan Mudra taking a deep inhale and exhaling fully again coming back into that place of witness you're observing yourself opening up you're observing this fresh energy in the body and we're coming back to our intention to really let go of what no longer serves us through today's kundalini yoga kriya to release all the detritus, all the blocks, the self-imposed limitations, anything that holds us back from being all that we were born to be in this lifetime. Let's take a deep inhale and exhaling fully. Good, now we're bringing our hands into Christ Mudra. So we've got our two peace fingers uh, with the remaining ring finger and pinky finger held down with the thumb. And we're holding this mudra in front of the shoulders as we inhale three uh, breaths through the mouth and exhale long and deep through the nose. So it's <sighs> inhale, inhale, inhale through the mouth, exhale through the nose. Keep the eyes at third eye point in the center of the brow. <sighs> Stay. 
starting this process of entering the subconscious mind. Good, on those inhales, you're really opening the mouth. Really opening the jaw. Good, we're going to continue that breath pattern as we now start to circle our hands. Good, nice fast little circles through the hands. Starting to stir up the detritus of the subconscious. Get really fast with those hands. Now come to stillness, deep inhale through the nose. Hold that breath in, squeeze tight through more bun, taking that energy from tailbone to crown of head, hold it, squeeze it, lift and stretch. Exhale, relax and release the hands to the knees, Gyan Mudra. Stay present with this process. Perhaps you'll feel that fresh new energy in the body, a different quality. Just noticing, no need to judge. Inhale deep. Exhale fully. Good, so we've got our left hand now in the center of the chest. I'm mirroring you right hand over the left, so we're really anchored in our heart center for this one. We're going to bring a massage down to Muladhara Chakra, to the root chakra, inhaling, lifting the buttocks off the ground, exhaling back down. <laughs> Good, so there's a bouncing motion on the base of the spine. Keep the eyes locked into third eye point. As you begin a very steady massage on Muladhara Chakra. Now, of course, the root chakra at the base of the spine is the first chakra that was formed in the first uh, first moments of our life in this earth. And many of us carry neuroses here, subconscious stuff. So we're intentionally releasing from Muladhara Chakra. We're releasing those neuroses with this very steady grounding rhythm. Good, let's really lift that stuff out now by interlacing the hands in Venus Mudra and we're extending the arms up above the head as we continue. Keep that movement really steady, really grounding. With the eyes rolled up and into third eye point. 
as you continue this healing process on the root chakra. Releasing unhelpful traumas, unhelpful beliefs that may have been formed in our childhood, in our infancy. Stay with it, galloping to your victory. Sustain that grounding rhythm. Inhaling, stretching those arms up, lift up towards the sky with that Venus Mudra, hold it, squeeze, small bond, lift, and exhale, bring your Venus Mudra down to the lap, bring, keep the thumb tips touching, and start to slow the breath right down, perhaps you can connect with the heartbeat as we rest with our awareness in the center of the chest. And we roll the eyes down to the tip of the nose and we keep our eye focus there, right there at the tip of the nose. This is a very grounding drishti or eye focus. Whether the eyes are open or closed, it's up to you, but keep them down at the tip of the nose. And in this posture, in deep stillness, we bring ourselves into a space of self-forgiveness. We deeply forgive ourselves for our past, for our present, for our future, we forgive. We forgive all those moments that we may not have cherished or honored ourself as greatly as we should have. We forgive ourselves for those moments that we've judged ourselves or limited ourselves. We enter a space of deep self-forgiveness, of deep surrender. And if you're struggling with entering that space, simply repeat the affirmation, I forgive myself. I forgive myself. Keep the eyes at the tip of the nose, stay anchored in the heart space. Breathing long and slow and deep. As this powerful self-forgiveness moves into a powerful self-blessing. By forgiving ourselves, we bless ourselves. And we are infinitely blessed. I bless myself. I bless myself. And in this space of deep self-forgiveness, of deep self-blessing, we begin to chant the mantra, Hami Ham, Tumi Tum, Wahe Guru. I am the universe, the universe is within me, we are all one. What an incredible truth that is. <laughs>
a deep inhale as you stretch your venus mudra up 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 stretch up and hold that breath in as you squeeze mulband and lift and stretch and open yourself up open the arms open the armpits open the spine stretch exhale keep the posture deep inhale hold that breath in as you stretch up lift up reach up with the venus mudra hold it and elevate yourself up into the universe that self-forgiveness that deep self-blessing send it up as a prayer one more time exhale fully and deep inhale hold it squeeze it lift and stretch and exhale relax release we're going to give ourselves another good old shake out here now shake 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 yourself loose shake out the detritus that we might have released in today's kundalini yoga kriya breathing deep as you shake yourself free you shake off all those old karmas all those old sanskaras or mental splinters all those old unhelpful habits and behaviors shake it all off shake yourself loose shake yourself free and stretch up inhale and exhale relax and release the hands down to the knees gyan mudra and stay here in stillness in silence with the eyes closed as you witness the sensations in the body physical as well as subtle resting in presence in clarity if you feel like you would like to come lying down in shavasana please do so otherwise resting here in meditation and we'll rest here in stillness in silence for another minute or so and i will guide us out on the other side If you are lying on your back in Shavasana, gently stirring yourself and make your way to come sitting tall in your comfortable easy pose with the spine growing long from the back of the pelvis, shoulders relaxed the heart lifted the chin drawn in towards the neck so the back of the neck is long and the eyes rolled up and into third eye point let's bring our palms together in prayer mudra and we'll close our practice with satnam truth is my name taking a deep inhale to chant Sa chin to chest offering gratitude to body mind and breath for bringing you to this kundalini yoga sending that gratitude out into your life as far as it will go 
and coming back into the room whenever you feel ready. I hope you enjoyed today's Kundalini Yoga Kriya Unloading the Subconscious. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more, and so much gratitude to those who join me and who support me on Patreon, on Coffee, through the YouTube Super Thanks. Huge thank yous to you, Satnam, everyone. Have a beautiful day.